Hello art friends, Dr. Beck here. Welcome to Art Ways where learning is fun. Today we're going to be creating a landscape based on the contemporary artist Robin Mead. Hello Mr. Alvey. Dr. Beck, I want to draw that. Dr. Beck, yo quiero hacer eso. Dr. Beck, that looks really cool. Dr. Beck, eso se ve bien. Okay, let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is put in a horizon line. And that's going to extend right across the middle. But I'm going to stop this. I'm going to have a wave coming in and overlapping that horizon line. So I'm going to stop there and pick it up right about here. And then what I'll do is put the wave in. And I'm going to have fun with line in this project. We're going to have fun with color in this project. We're going to put multiple waves in. Here's another one. Put some creases in the waves. And I'm going to encourage you to have fun with line, make it as expressive, expressive as, as you would like. And because waves are moving, we want to have some nice curvy lines that show motion. Then what I'd like to do is put in a nice hill in the background. Maybe come a little higher with this one. And we're breaking up space with decorative line so that we could use really fun color in this bright color. Okay, so we have, there's the water, there's the land, and the last thing we're going to put in is a sun. And the sun's rays are going to be Some nice line in here that goes right to the mountain, to the land. Okay, so we have our sky with our sun. We have our land with our mountains, and we have our water. The next thing I'm gonna do is paint. I'm gonna use some watercolor. And I'm going to use a combination of cool and warm colors. And a good way to remember cool colors are blue, green, purple. You'd see blue in the ocean and it's cool. The land is gonna be some greens. And then the sun is gonna be yellow, orange, and red, thinking of warm, almost flame-like. Okay, so let's start. And we're gonna do some blue first. Let's see. Let's paint some blue in here. And I like to put down some water I like to lay it down in this um, cushion. I like to put it down so that when I put the paint on, it flows right in. Nice, like this. There we go.
Notice I put the water down first, the water in the water. Okay, and then I laid some paint on there. And back here. And I'm gonna keep the combination for the ocean, blue, maybe a little bit of green and some purple. To blend, you want to use wet paint on wet paint. Gives it a nice blend. I'm going to let this dry a few minutes and then finish it off with colored pencil. Okay, so I let the paint dry and now I'm going to use my colored pencils along all the edges to help highlight the line even a little bit more. So on this purple one, I'm going to go to one of my purple pencils. I'm going to now give a little glow around all the line that I painted with colored pencils in the same color. So for example, here's a purple here. I'm gonna come in with purple on the inside of the color. And I'm gonna come in, oh, there we go. And give it a nice glow on that color. So the edges just light up. Go right to the line. I like to turn my paper so that my pencil is always facing the line. Makes it a little easier. I also like to get the color right to the line. So 
So it's never darker in the middle, it's darker near the edge. As we come in towards the middle, we're not even gonna color the middle, just the edges. But make sure it's the darkest at the line. There we go. And then light as you get away from the line. Okay. One purple done. Here's a second purple. Notice I'm doing all the purples that are facing the same way first. It saves a little time. Okay. Now I'm going to turn it like this so I can get this side of the purple. And again, remember, don't make it dark purple in the middle. Let that paint come through. Okay. Next, I'm going to go into some blue. Here we have a blue. We're going to make that glow. Hope you had fun painting the landscape today. And don't forget, be smart and include art. See you next time. Bye. Adios.